Good morning, it is Jack. I said good morning, this could be uploaded at any time, but it's Jack here from Modern Streets, and I'm not in the shop today, I'm back in the shop tomorrow, but today I am getting the logo of the brand, uh, Dead Pizza logo, finally tattooed. Uh, I'm gonna get it on my, on my lower leg, I think, because my arms are pretty full as they are. But my friend, Zach, he's gonna be doing the tattoo today. He's been supporting the brand since like day zero. So the initial concept of this brand was a little bit different. And then I relaunched it in the summer of 2020. Um, and Zach as, and Nina, his wife, have always been there supporting, always been there when I've needed people to model and stuff. Um, so yeah, it feels like the right person to go to to get this done. I've been holding out to get it done because I wanted Zach to do it. And I have a few customers that have it already, so I do feel a little bit jealous that they've already got it and I don't. But that is on the plan today, so I'm gonna take you guys with me and I'm in the shop tomorrow, so we'll probably do this as a two-in-one sort of vlog, getting the tattoo and stuff, and then also being in the shop tomorrow because I know full well that those prints from vlog two that didn't arrive are now in the shop. So yeah, I got to experiment with that so I can do a video and put all this in. So let's go get the toot. Let the pain begin. So there we go, tattoos done. Yeah, super happy with them, they look really cool. Always nice to see Zach as well. Um, they're opening their own tattoo studio and her salon real soon, and it's done. It is gonna be an amazing space because Zach and Nina have got a really good eye for just cool, quirky, wacky things. So I know this space is gonna look incredibly cool and we have spoken about maybe having a little rail in the studio as well um, with some modern streets gear available in the shop um, which i'd love to do i would maybe ask six best-selling designs available anyway i'm gonna go and get some food drop off this camera and see where the day takes me and it is day two of this vlog and obviously yesterday i got my tattoo done uh, it seems to be healing quite well i'll give it a clean this morning and covered it up so it's ready for a day in the shop today i'm about to go into my attic at home because i need some pizza boxes for the shop because when we had like a thousand of them arrive they arrived in like 10 boxes which was just overkill to try and keep in our little shop. So a lot of them are now up in my attic. So I'm gonna go and dive up there, get a box down, drive them over to the shop, drop them off, move the car and head back over. So let's get up there and try and wrestle a box down, which should be fun. I think this is where I realized putting them up here is easier <laughs> than getting them back down. Yeah, all my showcase event stuff uh, is up <laughs> up here in the attic, which I'm probably gonna regret when it comes to <laughs> doing some of these events and having to get potentially all the t-shirts and things that will be going up in there to keep them out of the shop. But yeah, needs must because small shop problems. Let's get these to the shop. We have pizza boxes. Let's get these opened up so we can get them put away. We had some printer issues last night. Wasn't printing labels correctly, so I gotta figure that out and then I'm gonna crack on with the online orders that came through yesterday. Quite a few going out. But yeah, gonna get those done as soon as I get his printer working. Just gonna get the TVs and screens and stuff all set up in here. Maybe put our little air diffuser on so the shop smells good. And then yeah, see what needs see what needs printing and packing. Uh, I think there's something arriving today as well that's coming from America. Crazy that I ordered it on Monday 
and I can track it. And it's literally in Manchester and arriving today. Labels are working. So we've got an order here for James, one for Laura, one for Bradley. So thank you guys ever so much for keeping us busy. Gonna get these packed now and then start on the international orders because we usually have to weigh those and it's a bit more rigmarole in getting them out. But I'm gonna crack on with these ones first and then, yeah, get on with the rest of the day. Let's go. Gonna put the little modern street sticker onto this one. Big fan to, big shout out to Bradley though, because this is his seventh order from the brand. So thank you ever so much for coming back time and time again. Let's double check what we need to get again. I'm gonna grab these bits. Really, really good bunch of stuff here to go out to Spain. I'm gonna get this packed up now and sent out. May need to split the parcel for this one because it's gonna be pretty heavy with so much going in. Okay, so in the last video, I spoke about this design and how I wasn't super happy with like the adhesive in certain areas. And now this has been redone for me and it does look much better. I'm gonna get another one of the old ones to compare it. But this is also a DTF transfer. This is a different print process. You can see the paper um, that it's only slightly different um, but you can see up close here, little bits of adhesive around the colored areas and stuff. And now some of that does melt away when it bonds to the t-shirt. Where with this one, this is a different process and it feels completely different. It feels completely different. So I haven't used this before. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be interesting to try out because I wanna see how this feels. The, the actual look of it, I don't know. It looks weird because I'm so used to seeing them like this. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna print these and see how it feels. I'm gonna go with the original style first that we always use to see if this feels any better. Not quite sure if it's gonna be a big difference, but I can definitely tell from looking at it compared to the last video that I did that the, there is less adhesive in this one. Um, they've obviously found maybe the flaws that I found as well in the original one, which I do have still hung up here for comparison. So this is gonna be a real test to see how this one feels in comparison to this one. And then obviously compared to this other one as well. So let's have a look how this one's turned out. I think I can tell straight away. Like I think I can feel it straight away that this one is, is already lighter. Now this is the wild card, the DTF transfer that we haven't used before. So I'm intrigued to see how this one works. I can see that the adhesive, uh, whatever it is that they use on this one, is very precise in terms of it's only applied where there's detail, there's no like overspill slightly, which you get on the original one, but I don't know if the colors and how it feels will be the same, if it'll be as vibrant as what we're used to seeing. And that's obviously a big thing for the brand is to have that vibrancy um, in our designs. So yeah, this will be, this will be a test. Let's give this a go. Okay, that one, I mean, that peeled incredibly easy. Um, just like the other ones, there was no resistance whatsoever. But, mm, man, this is gonna be tough, you know. It is a tricky one. That is a tricky one because it does feel pretty, pretty similar. Like the colors look just as good. I did wonder, when it was on the sheet, did it look as tack sharp as as the other? And that's gonna be the test now up front. And this is tricky. I don't know if that orange is slightly punchier on the DCF. I think the feel is the same. I do feel that the lettering may look a little bit crispier in the original. I'll come back to that because yeah, that's gonna take some processing to yeah, see how I feel. I'm gonna try them on as well and, and go from there. There you go. I don't know how I fit in there. I'll sort those out, don't you worry. Yeah, check them on the side, I'll sort them for you. Cool, so for the Deafness Watching one, it's 20 pounds. I'll give you that one. Thank you. One down, and now I'm going for these two. I'm not sure if I put a little sticker in your other bag, so let me give you those to you. There's a little sticker there to go with it. Uh, I'll shut that one in there for you. There you go. Thank you. 
Right, yeah, enjoy the show. Thank See you. you later. Cheers, guys. Thank you. They always escape. They usually hit the floor. You've done well to catch that one. 20% off anything in store. Wow, we can add nice. on to that. Absolutely. Yeah, can we try these in the same bag or do you want them in separate bags? Same bag will be fine. Yeah. The bag might not be fine by the time I get back to the car because it's raining. I'm just thinking that now. Should I put them in separate ones so you've got a backup? Yeah, is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just thinking, obviously, if it's wet. I do love a good chat with customers and they were just, yeah, they were they were nice people. So it's always, it's always nice when nice people come through um, and you get to have a good chat with them. They ordered a couple of custom print Anxiety World Tour hoodies because he loved the design, but wanted hoodies because it is still pretty chilly outside. So yeah, happy customers, happy days. So we're off to a good start. It's ha It has arrived all the way from the US in record time. Let me get it plugged in, get it set up. There we have it, the new counter, which basically tracks every time we put a sale through this little counter will now start to update, which is pretty cool. So that's just been wrestled with for the past 20 minutes, trying to get it to work because it was having some Wi-Fi and connection issues, but we are good to go. It is almost two o'clock and I'm finally, finally getting around to printing. It's just been one of them days today with a lot of customer interaction because it is half term for some people. So there's a lot of more people in the building. Uh, just been sorting bits and pieces out since I've been in here, online orders, setting up this counter. I don't know where the day's gone. I do not know where the day's gone, but it is two o'clock and it's finally start, time to start printing and there is a lot for me to do. So it's gonna be a pretty flat out four hours towards the end of the shift. Just doing the I'm Broken long sleeves now. We've done the t-shirts, we've done Aim for the Stars, we've done Welcome to Hell. I'm now doing the I'm Broken, which is one of the new ones. And then I'm gonna start on to fight the system. So I think it's quarter to five. I think you might be able to get all these done before close of play today. That's it, we are done for the day. Just powering everything down. Um, it's been a busy one. A uh, new little counter is up and running and registering sales when they come through. I think the first couple of sales, it was like about a minute delay, but then suddenly it did appear to start working and working pretty well, to be honest. Did get most of the stuff done that needed doing today. So that's all ticked off and updated on the back end. Oh man, I am warm. I don't know what it is today, but it feels a lot warmer than usual in the shop. Um, I don't know if it's because I've been in front of the heat press all day. I'm not too sure, but it is toasty warm. Just shutting off all the lights and stuff, so I do apologize for the horrible light when we start shutting everything down. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a good day. It's been a good day. Hopefully, the rest of the week continues like this as well. They make a horrible noise. They make a horrible noise. But yeah, time to head home. Switch off for a bit maybe edit this vlog as well. And yeah, day off tomorrow. So spending the day with the dog, go out to the park and do some chilling and then play with the band in the evening. And then we're back here Friday. So this might be the end of the video, I think. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff as we take you on this little journey of running our little clothing brand here at Aflex in Manchester. Until next time.